Hey, what's going on guys? Me Platin here with a brand new video today. Today we're going to be talking about the golden week of Temtem 1.0 spoilers part number two, the competitive scene and approach to PvP. Now PvP is a huge part of Temtem's uh, core gameplay. It uh, rewards a lot of players for playing PvP and also team building is a huge uh, part of this uh, monster catcher game known as Temtem. So let's go ahead and see what they're changing about the competitive and PvP scenes upon 1.0 release. So, uh, the competitive scene itself has always been a part of one of its key components, as we just mentioned, and they want to expand and promote it further. Um, Temtem Showdown. If you guys have ever heard of Pokemon Showdown, Temtem Showdown is going to be kind of similar, but let's see exactly what they're getting uh, into. So, Temtem Showdown is an in-game battle simulator that allows you to participate in ranked battles without actually working towards building the teams, capturing the Tems, breeding, and trading them. It allows you to basically simulate um, the battle itself. That way you can see if a Tem is uh, worthwhile without actually investing into it and everything like that. It's very, very useful for uh, uh, wanting to train up your perfect team. Having a battle simulator allows players access to the competitive ladder instantly and gives them more tools to freely explore and test new teams built for strategies. Ever since the inception of Temtem, we've tried to facilitate access to competitive battles without going too far like having the rank battle auto-escalate stats and levels. But it hasn't been enough. Our players have been demanding easier access to the competitive scene or suggesting that we remove all barriers altogether. But we've been torn because of how that would impact the PvE progression and scene. We decided to create Temtem Showdown game mode and release it with 1.0, or close to it. Remember, this will likely drop during the launch window. Uh, Showdown will be included as part of the game, and its usability will be fused with the rank competitor ladder. With Showdown, you'll be able to edit your team and preference without having to train your Thames. You will also be able to select the T SVs and TVs, which is like your individual values uh, that we see in Pokemon. Uh, these Showdown squads will only be available for ranked and friendly competitive matches. You won't be able to use them for any other game content with like dojo rematches, in-game tournaments, things like that. That will ensure the hard-trained Thames still have their place in the game, while allowing for a much more dynamic experience in PvP. Lastly, even though Ranked Ladder will use Showdown Tems, you will still be able to participate with your uh, regular squad, the ones that you actually train up and uh, play with. Showcase squads and regular squads cannot be mixed together. You can still showcase and flex your Luma team and your hard-earned, traditionally trained Tems. Here's a uh, screenshot of what that's going to look like now that we see from uh, their spoilers. Ranked V2. When we talked about Ranked version 2, we talked about a series of improvements and changes plans for the Ranked format, which will enhance the experience and make it more rewarding. These and changes include, the Ranked format will be divided into seasons. So that will go along with the Seasonal Tamer Pass explained tomorrow, which is going to be our next uh, Golden Week, this is uh, next video. Uh, these seasons will impact how Ranked matches are played, Balance patches will arrive at the start of each season, and the goal is to maintain the meta untouched during an ongoing season. Hiding the TMR in game, so a lot of people uh, will be able to see your TMR, kind of like seeing your public stats in like Call of Duty or things like that. They're actually going to be hiding that. Um, the fluctuation of TMR actually creates a lot of pressure, so we're considering hiding it. TMR will still be visible while using the API, so the most dedicated users will still be able to check it out using third-party tools. We want to make some tweaks to the TMR formula. So TMR is kind of like MMR, which is uh, the uh, rating in which uh, you have your ranked uh, uh, progress and show. Whether you have a high TMR, you have a higher rank, low TMR, lower rank. Um, one of the things we want to do is tweak around the amount of TMR loss against a lower TMR player. You shouldn't be matched against one of these in the first place, but that's another problem. We also plan to increase the TMR game so the difference between a good player and a regular one is higher. So they want to balance the gains and losses. Kind of like LP in uh, League of Legends, but actually balanced. We're also considering adding TMR decay. So if you don't play for a very long time, they might actually decay your TMR. Which is like, if you haven't, again, the League of Legends thing. If you haven't uh, played in a while, you might go from, you know, gold 4 to like... Uh, uh, gold or sorry, gold two to like gold three, for example. Um, although we don't know if it's going to be needed with the season format, at the end of the season, everyone will have their TMR reset to a new lower value so that you can reclimb with the new season. 
we're adding ranks and sub ranks in order to replace the law the no longer visible tmr think of gold one gold two silver one yeah just like uh an, an elo system um we're open to suggestions for cooler names these ranks will be distributed based on percentile population at the start of each season so we'll always try to keep the same distribution we're going to be adding a legendary rank but they're going to be uh accepting uh, suggestions for a better name which only the top percentile one percent of the players will reach this ring will have an internal ladder which you'll see your relative place amongst other length uh, legend players so for example the third blessed player in terms of tmr would be legend number three we're adding feathers and that's what you might be wondering feathers is a new currency that's coming um as a reward for ranked wins along with current rewards for pan suns since we're going to try to increase the maximum possible tmr rank the idea is that the Pansun rewards increase with it too. These rewards will now be based off of your TMR, which is like your rank or whatever they're going to change it to, instead of your opponent's TMR. We're also adding seasonal rewards at the end of the season, depending on your performance during it. You'll get some exclusive rewards that won't be obtainable any other way except through this. And finally, we're adding two daily and two weekly competitive quests, which will grant users extra feathers and Pansuns while doing it. Dedicated balance team. Uh, up until now, balance has been something that they've been doing uh, and maintain it in between tasks instead of having people focus on it regularly. Some of our current team members have been dedicating hours sporadically. Um, we want to have a more robust balance changes. We've talked about including some key community members as helpers, so the balance team has extra input on certain topics that can be considered more risky or delicate. Uh, we already have some names at the top of our minds, and we made some early approaches to discuss it already, but there's a lot of bureaucracy involved, so when the team has enough time, we'll be moving forward with it in a definitive manner. We just wanted to reassure you that this is still planned and a priority to us. Frema run tournaments. Frema is the dev, by the way, of Temtem, in case you didn't know. Um, we love seeing community tournaments, but they want to have their own dedicated tournaments now as well. Um... Someone who has run several tournaments and a good understanding of Temtem competitive scene might be someone who will be a uh, dedicated member of the community as their esports manager. It looks like they've hired someone. We're also going to allocate a budget in order to incentivize the tournaments with cash prizes and the entertaining of possibly doing an on-site tournaments. Uh, we're still at the very early stages of designing it, but we have loads of ideas and are eager to work with them. Here's another in-screen uh, screenshot. Other planned improvements, first a TV blender, which will ease the process of giving enhancer fruits to Thames, which is basically how you can give uh, individual values to your Tem. Um, secondly, we're planning a system of sorts that will let your Thames, that will let you drop your Tem someplace, pay a fee and have them train automatically while they're there. Sort of a training alternative to the Brini Center. There's a place in game dedicated to this already, but it's very far from functional. Since it's a lot of work, we're not even considering the launch window for this. It'll be added to the game at an indefinite point in the future. We'll tell you more as we progress with it. And that is it. And concluding day number two of Golden Week 1.0 spoilers. Let me know what you guys are most excited for about the balancing of uh, EVP and also the rank scene, along with the uh, side improvements that they spoiled as well. Let me know what you guys are most excited for. Otherwise, I will see you in the next uh, Golden Week. Golden Week number three out of five. We'll see what they have in store for us. Uh, in patch notes number three have yourselves a great night everybody take care my name is b flynn and i'm signing on out of here take care all laters